Hi, I'm Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. iCloud is a suite of online cloud hosting and software tools available to anyone with an Apple ID. It's free, easy to set up, and practically a requirement for anyone that owns any iDevice. Yet, despite all of its awesomeness, iCloud remains severely underutilized. This tutorial aims to rectify that by showing you how to build an iWork document in the cloud, back up your iDevice wirelessly, use Back to My Mac to access an alternate Mac, and use Find My iPhone to recover missing devices. Let's get started. If you have ever had the need to access a document only to realize you don't have your computer with you, then this feature alone will be a virtual lifesaver. Thanks to the magic of iCloud, you can create, edit, or even show iWork documents from any connected computer, even a PC. All you really need is a web browser, which I've pulled up here, and I've pointed to www.icloud.com. Through the magic of editing, I'm going to quickly log in to iCloud. Once logged in, I'll simply click on this keynote icon down in the bottom right, and then to create the new presentation, I'll click this plus box right here. You might note that any other presentation I've created is already available here as long as I've saved it to my iCloud. But I want to create a new presentation, so I'm going to click here. And just like with the native Keynote application, as soon as I say that I would like to create a new Keynote, I'm presented with the ability to choose a theme. I'm going to choose this one here. Now that I've chosen a theme, I'm presented with a user interface that looks remarkably like the native Keynote application. I can double click to add any text or change any of the submenu text as well. I'll give this slide a header real quick. And we'll change the submenu while I'm here. If I want to add a second slide, I can click this plus box, choose the type of slide that I want, and I can do the same type of editing here as well. Once I'm completely satisfied with the presentation the way it is, I can share it from iCloud directly by clicking this button here. Or I can click the tools menu to download a copy, send a copy, print a copy, go back to my presentations, or even directly sign out of iCloud. This really is a very powerful way to get a keynote presentation built on the fly, especially if I don't have my computer handy. Now that you understand how to easily create an iWork document from iCloud, let's take a look at how you can back up your iDevice to the cloud wirelessly. If you've ever lost all of your contacts or other information from your phone or iPad, you know the value of timely, consistent backups. iCloud couldn't make those backups easier. In fact, if you've already bought a new device, you probably have been offered the option to both sign into iCloud and set up the wireless backups as part of the setup process. I would strongly advise you take advantage of this offer at that time. But you may not have had a new device or know how to set it up during the process. In that case, you can still set things right. On your iDevice, go to the Settings menu and then to the iCloud submenu. If you haven't already signed into iCloud, do so now. Scroll to the very bottom of the iCloud menu and hit the Storage and Backup submenu. Under the Backup heading, make sure iCloud Backup is switched on. I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on just so you can see what I'm talking about. You may also want to hit the Backup Now link to start your first backup. And that's how easy it is to backup your iPhone or iPad to iCloud wirelessly. Now that you know how to backup your iDevices wirelessly, let's move on to the next feature, using Back to My Mac. Back to My Mac is probably one of the most valuable yet underutilized features of iCloud. If you own more than one Mac and struggle with keeping everything in sync or accessing the programs you have on one computer from the other, you will love this feature. To set up Back to My Mac, launch the System Preferences menu and choose iCloud from the panel. Scroll to the bottom of the list and look for Back to My Mac. To make sure it is set up, all you need to do is make sure the box next to this Back to My Mac icon is checked. Please note, you need to complete this step on all of the computers you wish to access or use Back to My Mac with. Both the Mac you are accessing and the computer you are using to access it must be successfully signed into iCloud and have this Back to My Mac icon checked. Now that I have Back to My Mac set up on both my MacBook Air, which is the computer I'm currently recording on, and my iMac, which is remote, let's see if I can access one from the other. I'm going to come down here and click Finder. On the sidebar, under the Shared column, I'm going to see Alex's iMac, so I'm going to choose that, and then I'm going to choose Share Screen. 
Within a few moments, my iMac screen will appear in front of me, and I can manipulate any of the files, folders, or applications by simply using my keyboard and mouse like I would on a normal computer. Back to my Mac makes it incredibly simple for me to access all of my Mac computers regardless of where they are. As long as they're all connected to the internet and turned on, I can access them. There are a few things in life more panic-inducing than the loss of your personal electronics, especially those that contain personal pictures, information, or contacts. That is why Find My iPhone is such an invaluable part of the iCloud experience. And despite the name, it isn't just for finding lost iPhones. You can register and find just about any Apple device. In fact, let's set up Find My iPhone on this Mac computer. I'm going to launch System Preferences, and I'm going to go to the iCloud panel. At the very bottom, you'll see Find My Mac has a check mark next to it. That's all I need to do to set up Find My Mac for iCloud on my MacBook Air. Now let's make sure Find My iPhone is available for my iPad as well. I'm going to go to Settings, and under iCloud Submenu, I'm going to make sure Find My iPad is turned on. To show you where it is, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on. It gives me a warning message telling me what Find My iPad does, and I'm okay with that, so I'm just going to click OK. Now that I have all my devices set up to allow Find My iPhone, Find My iPad, whatever it is, I can actually find them through the iCloud. In this case, I'm going to go to iCloud.com and enter in my username and password once again. Once logged in, I'm going to choose the Find My iPhone option, and the map will load showing me where all of my iDevices are. As you can see, I have quite a few iDevices in my house, but as I click through each one, I'm given the option to go to the Info button where I can play a sound, enter lost mode, or even erase the phone entirely. Being able to tell your devices to play a sound even when they're in silent mode, go into lost mode, or even erase them completely are invaluable tools in the battle against theft of your personal devices. As I've just demonstrated, iCloud is a powerful suite of tools that Apple gives you completely free of charge. If you aren't taking advantage of each and every one of these things, then you are really messing out. Log in, set up, and start enjoying the connected life that you are meant to live. Thanks for watching.